y'all Megan Hardy here and today I'm talking about Genesis chapter 3 which is titled the fall so a little so basically this is kind of the passage that captures um, when sin entered the world and so kind of you know it's 24 verses so it's a little bit long so kind of to summarize what happened is that the serpent deceived um, the woman and got her to eat from the tree in the center of the Garden of Eden and that was kind of the one commandment that God gave them to not do to not eat from the tree that had the knowledge of good and evil um, so a woman ate it and then shared it with um, man and so they both committed sin and because of that because God is just because God is holy he had to punish them and so, this is basically kind of a, this was a huge shift in humanity. Because before we had perfect harmony with the Lord, uh, we could be in his presence. Um, and it was just perfect communication. Everything was whole. Everything was wonderful. And then we messed it up. And... You know, that's kind of kind of hard. Like, you read this and you're like, why? They were given one, you had one job. Like, why would you disobey God? But God created us to have, you know, to think freely and, and to act in an, in an, you know, to kind of act in a certain way. And something that my home group leader said a while ago that stuck with me is that the cross was always plan A. And that God wanted us to be with us so bad that he kind of gave us that option. And so that's by no means to justify sin. Um, sin is wrong. But, but God had this perfect plan of mind when he created us that we would have, that through Jesus, we would have the perfect relationship again. Um, and getting back to where we were before Eden. And get to a place in heaven where we will be in perfect community, perfect harmony with the Lord again. And so here in verses, um, chapter 3, verse 15, is kind of the first instant of the gospel in the Old Testament. And it says, I will cause, this is God speaking, I will cause hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you, and he will, and you will strike his heel. Um, and that's God talking to the serpent, um, who was the devil. And so in that little verse, it's talking about how there will come a time where someone born from a woman will rise up to take on the enemy. And that was Christ, because as we know, Christ did not have an earthly father. God was his father, born of the Virgin Mary. And through the birth of Christ, um, he was able to overcome sin, overcome death. Um, as we all know, that is the beautiful, wonderful, perfect story of Easter. Um, and that's just, and it just goes to show that this was God's plan in the first place. He is sovereign. He's in control. Even though he knew he, we would mess up, that he saw this great plan in place with us is that he gave us that option anyway. And so I'm praying for y'all this week. Hope that um, gives some encouragement that God is in control no matter what the situation is. And that he loves you so much that he would, um, that he would do some crazy things in order to get you back to him. And so I hope that encourages y'all this week. Hope everything goes well. Love you guys. And... Uh, good luck with Tuesday.